Good morning, this is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today we are starting a new devotional series called The Purpose Circus. And now you may be thinking, well, what's wrong with purpose? Why is she saying The Purpose Circus? Well, I'm talking about The Purpose Circus because we have, um, it seems to be a disproportionate amount of people, um, especially clients I'm getting that are like, I want to know my purpose. Tell me my purpose. I'm trying to find out my purpose. If I could just figure out my purpose, then everything would be okay. And there's a lot of focus towards purpose, purpose is purpose. Um, and purpose in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. Trying to understand one's purpose uh, can can be positive. However, um, I wonder, and what was impressed upon me was that purpose has become the place where we put all of our life interest um, and all of the things that we're supposed to be doing in life ever is in this one big bundle of what we are calling purpose. And I'm concerned about that. And so this is the introduction to what will be a week-long devotional about purpose and the purpose circus and what's happening right now. So we've had major authors write books on purpose and destiny and future and, and so on and so forth. And, um, and I think it's caught a lot of eyes, right? A lot of people are interested in what does the Bible say about my purpose? What does it say about why I'm here and about what I'm supposed to be doing? And I want to know it and I want to open this book and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing and then I'll go do it and we'll all be good. And what I often say to people when they come to me and they ask me, well, what is my purpose? I would say, well, if you knew it today, would that mean that you would automatically be fine and be able to do it tomorrow? You know, if I told you, okay, today your purpose is this and God was like yes and this is it and it was you know lights camera action and you got a understanding of it would you be able to just go tomorrow and live that purpose and the answer for most people is well yeah but I think in further explore exploration we find out well no um, we've been searching and running after this concept of what is our purpose and what is it that we are supposed to be doing and go, 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 and let's go get our purpose and hold our purpose and fulfill our purpose. And I think that we're a little bit misguided in that. And so this devotional is to focus on dismantling this concept of it, what is purpose and what is purpose's role, purpose is purpose, or the role of purpose in our lives as believers, but then looking at the bigger picture. Can I move towards my purpose and fulfill a purpose if in this cliche-ish language if I'm not well? Can I do it if I don't know how to relate to people? What about if I'm angry with God? What about if I'm struggling with some major things that are debilitating and preventing me from moving forward? Is purpose what I need to be focusing on if those issues are very apparent in my life? Well, that's why we're going to spend time on this devotional. We're going to dismantle this idea of if moving, if we achieve our purpose, then we have achieved uh, some place in life in which everything is hum and is well and the angels begin to sing and we see the light from heaven and we know that we've done what we're supposed to do. I don't know if that's actually a biblical concept. And so I want you to spend some time today. We're not going to go in deep into the scripture. We're just going to meditate on a cultural perspective. And so this is a devotional because we're preparing ourselves to open up the word and read and see what the word says in a specific area. But before we do that, I want you to reflect on the culture around you. How many people do you know who are driving and seeking and looking for purpose? How many times in your life have you told people, I just want to know my purpose. I feel like I'm doing finally what I'm purpose or purpose, purpose, purpose. How often do you hear the word purpose and how much do people put stake in this concept of one purpose for one life and so on and so forth? And and so now I want you to do a survey. That's your homework. It's to survey those around you and find out the importance of purpose um, in, a, in our culture for today. And then tomorrow we will start to un unpack the scriptures and the references in the Bible regarding purpose and look at culture and the word with each other and understand where, if, 
if at all, we have hit the mark and where, if at all, we've missed it, right? And so understanding these concepts are extremely important because we don't want to be people who just go towards an idea, gravitate, gravitate toward an idea because it seems exciting and it doesn't have any biblical truth or principle or application in our life. And so I want to encourage you to do that and I will see you tomorrow. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. Spend time and think about how much am I concerned about purpose? Am I a part of what Erica is calling this purpose circus or, or not? All right. Until tomorrow, goodbye and have a blessed day.